This maneuver is extension and standing. Forming extension and standing of the lumbar spine is very simple actually. We take our hands, I like to take the thumbs, put it on the low back, find those bony prominences, and then support your hips like so. What you're gonna do is lean back as far as you can go while pushing your hips forward as a counterbalance. So you'll push the hips forward, lean back, and if you can go further, go further. Then once you can't go any further, go further by breathing out and return. If you're having a hard time getting back there because you're squeezing your butt cheeks, point the toes inward. It helps relax those glutes so that you can lean back into it and then breathe out. If you are having pain with this movement and that cannot perform it to end range, you want to make sure that you're only you want to make sure that you are only kissing the pain and then returning. If you find within a set as you're doing repetitions it's getting easier and easier, go further. Keep finding where that pain is, push it further, give it a kiss, come back. As a clinician, many times we'll find that when this is an effective maneuver, but we can't get the last little bit, we have to use a little extra force by using a fulcrum. Well, the easiest way to do that is by taking a dowel, a stick, a broom handle, whatever it may be, and you place it in that same spot of your low back. So now we do the same thing, point the toes inward, but now we're gonna use that stick and we're gonna use our hands to push it forward as we lean back as far as possible. Other options include using the back of a couch, considering if it's floating and not against a wall. You can use a railing, a countertop, a banister, just make sure you don't fall down the stairs. This is a common move used for low back pain, low back pain with leg pain or sciatica. It's performed 10 reps at a time, about five sets a day or you know, 10 reps every three to four hours, and always with the guidance of your clinician.